Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install MySQL on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. See, I have connected to my Red Hat Linux. Let's verify whether its version is 9 or not by running the command more slash etc os hyphen release. See, the name is Red Hat Enterprise Linux and its version is 9. Next step is we have to add MySQL repository to the to the Red Hat Linux. If you don't know the repo information, open browser then type repo.mysql.com click on index click on this first link or click on this mysql m repository scroll down these are the list of the repositories these are for ubuntu debian and our version is el Yeah, here it is. EL9 MySQL 80 Community Release EL9. Right click on it and select the copy link address. Now run the command duplicate. Just paste that command. Press enter. Whatever the commands I am going to execute in this video will be available in the video description. No need to bother about the commands. LS. See. RPM has been downloaded. Next one is we have to install it. sudo dnf local install then provide this repository. If you connected with root user no need to provide sudo otherwise you have to give this sudo and press enter. Type it to accept. It successfully installed. Now we have to verify M repository has been added successfully or not by running the command M or DNF repo list repo list enabled then pipe symbol grep mysql dot star community press enter press enter give the double quotation See, successfully added the M repository. Next step is we have to install latest MySQL by running the command DNF or M. Both are same. DNF, we can use anyone. sudo DNF install MySQL community server. See, it is going to install MySQL community server its version is this one that is 8.0.30 is the latest one it is also going to install these dependencies community client plugins community common community data files community libraries press y to accept and enter Again, press Y. We have successfully installed MySQL community server on Red Hat Linux. We have to verify whether MySQL is started or not by running the sudo systemctl status MySQL D. See. It is not started. You can also verify by running the command sudo service mysql d status. Both are same. Now start mysql service by using sudo system ctl start mysql d.
now verify it's started or not sudo system ctl status mysql d or you can give dot service both are same see it is started and its process id is 85663 <clears throat> next step is we have to enable mysql service to start automatically whenever your red hat linux restarts by running the command sudo system ctl enable mysql d what it will do it will automatically starts whenever red hat linux reboots so we have successfully installed and we have started the mysql service now verify the mysql version mysql then give hyphen hyphen version see we have installed mysql version 8.0.30 now we have to run mysql secure installation with this we can set the root password and also removing the anonymous users from mysql 8 version onwards temporary password stored in in where log mysql d dot log file so we have to grab this one for the temporary password grab temporary password then where log mysql d dot log we have to give sudo see this is the root temporary password okay copy this one save this one cat temp dot txt okay i have saved in this one this is only for two minutes we are going to reset the root password okay so now we know the root, temporary password for root user clear screen now run the command mysql underscore secure underscore installation now we have to provide the temporary root password that is this one in your case it may be different it is saying the existing password for the user root user account root has expired we have to set it set the password type the same password again no do you want to remove anonymous users then press y otherwise no i am going to remove anonymous users by typing y disallow root login remotely yes i want to allow I don't want to remove the test database. Yes. All done. So we have set the password for root user. Next we have to connect to MySQL by using root user. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. See we have successfully connected to MySQL server and its version is 8.0.30. Let's verify list of the databases. So databases by default by default mysql has installed these four default databases you want to create database create database r2 schools then put semicolon at the end of the statement see we have successfully installed mysql database let's verify again so databases See, new database has been added successfully to my MySQL server. So, in this video, we have seen how to install MySQL latest version that is 8.0.30 on Red Hat Linux 9. Then we have seen how to start, how to check the MySQL service status, then how to start the MySQL, how to enable MySQL service. Then we have seen how to set the password for root user 
then we have seen how to connect to mysql server on red hat linux server for more mysql videos please subscribe my channel thank you